we do have a UI. Uh, this is the UI for it. Um, let me first by start by saying what it is. It's a, a hopefully be an open internet service, uh, and it has a couple of different functions. First of all, it can be used um, standalone mode, which is what I'll demo first, which is a as a place to deposit uh, to deposit your personal information, basically things that you want to keep um, private, but you sometimes need to share with other apps. Um, so we just log in standalone using internet identity as normal. We're running a, a, on the test net at the moment, so this is going to be a slightly different version of the internet identity, but for our purposes, it will be basically the same. Um, so what we should see once this is signed in is just a, a simple repository where we can record pieces of information about us, which we want to associate with our identity. Um, so for example, I could record my email address. And this is not just going to be me writing this down and saying that's true. We also have a verification process, which is another po important point. So that's sent a code now to my email address. Hopefully, yes. So I can then enter into privacy. You can say priv IC if you enjoy puns, but or privacy, whichever you prefer. And that's now a verified email address. Now you wouldn't ordinarily come into this, probably. And this brings me on to the second purpose for this service, and that is an, as an integration with other DApps. So we've created a version of OpenChat, which integrates with this. So OpenChat and many other apps probably will need to control who logs in and, and, and verify to some extent they're a real person, because obviously supporting these accounts and supporting these users costs you money. So OpenChat, for example, at the moment is about to introduce a policy whereby we need to know that the user has a verified phone number. So when we sign in, it's going to look like it's signing into Internet Identity as normal. But what's actually happening behind the scenes is that we're going via the privacy service and that's sitting in as a middleman. And when we get back to open chat, we'll see that the privacy API is being hosted here inside an iframe within open chat. And it's telling us that open chat has expressed that it would like some access to our personal data. I mean, in this case, we need at least one verified phone number. Uh, we, we could we could imagine expressing all sorts of different policies with different apps you might need to have an email address or uh, a verified social media account or a bank account we need a minimum age all sorts we, we've just implemented phone number and email for now so i haven't got this i can't meet these requirements at the moment so i need to go ahead and um, enter this so this is the that's my phone number and you'll have to trust me that I'm going to get a message here. Bing. And the code is 6032. So I'm doing this in line within within open chat in an iframe pointing at. And now, now we can now it says that the requirements are met. And at this point, it's doing some um, delegation uh, to send us back to open chat having established that we've met the requirements for open chat and there we go we can see we're in open chat this is a kind of early version of v2 if i log out and sign back into open chat this time around One because minute. i've already entered that information the requirements that uh, open chat has will already be met And we see that immediately it's already telling us that we've got the requirements met and it will just do the delegation as before and we'll go straight back into open chat. And then if I just quickly refresh the screen over here in the standalone mode, we can see that that phone number that I added and verified in line has appeared now and that's associated with my identity and I can delete that whenever I feel like it. You could have multiple connected apps that would all display here. And I can see if any of these apps have asked for full access to that data, then it will show here, or I can even 
grant and revoke full access here myself. So I've got complete control over my data. Um, the apps I use never even need to see it potentially. Um, and we think that's going to be a good thing and useful to many apps in the ecosystem. Well, that's it. Thank you.